Hello and welcome back to Citizens of the Frontier. This is going to be part two of Operation Tiger Shark. Um, when last we left off, our crew was about to be boarded by the pirates of a Corvette um, who have been raiding shipments from the Zank between the Liberty System and Solar Miner. Um, they are posing as, you know, simple merchants. They let leak that they were carrying cargo, which they were not, um, and traveled the space lanes hoping to get attacked. And lo and behold, they were attacked. Uh, they surrendered quickly and are about to be boarded, whereupon they hope to quickly um, immobilize and overpower the pirates and invade their ship and capture it uh, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so um, you have your weapons and defenses at the ready. And um, the, uh, uh, the door opens. Uh, you know, the, you see a group of men in the airlock, uh, all human. Mm. And they, uh, the door opens. And we are going to, I'm going to roll their group I am. Um, so the pirates, you know, when the door opens, they start rushing in. And they're going to go on uh, on 12. I rolled a 7. Their I am modifier was a 5. So they're, what they're going to do on 12 is rush in and spread out. So they're not so grouped up. So they're not all like in one line. Mm. Um, you know, they have a, a very familiar weapon to the group because one of you carries it almost exclusively. Um, they've got the heavy short range electro stunners. Um, Did we have initiative from last time? We didn't start the combat. The door never got open. Um, so we need so, it now. Yeah, so roll your individual initiative. I got 12 as well. Okay, <clears throat> so as the door opens and they're rushing, you can fire the burst into the group of them before they spread out. What so am I rolling one, for that again? I'm sorry. Um, you roll a 10 and then you add your IM. Got it. I'm 14. Regina goes first at this point. Harlan will fire as they're rushing in. Larmo? Hang on, sorry. Use this dice roll. It's a pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, eight plus 13. Okay. So two of you get the drop on the pirates, and one will be firing before they can even react, you know, as they're starting to react. Okay. The door opens, and we're going to start with the 14. So, Sylvie, what do you do? You see, they're, right now they're two by two. They're two by two. They can't. Um, th that's why they want to, those first two want to rush in, span mm -hmm. out. So that they'll be, f at the end of their round, there'll be four in the ship. I want to shoot to the one that's closest to Joel right now. Okay, you're all about equal okay. distance, but you, pop, you know, and keep in mind, if you have a rate of two, fire twice. and I Because I think your gun can fire twice. Yeah, so the person still has a rate I'm of gonna two. I'm going to give everyone a plus, um, hold on, let me actually look up what it actually is because I'm going to say this was a Star Wars moment where you're all pointing your guns at the door as you're being boarded and hoping that Darth Vader is not with this group because <laughs> that never goes well. I'm going to say for this round everyone has plus 15 to their roll as you were taking careful aim at that narrow door these pirates had to go through. Except for me because I'm throwing something. No, I will uh I will let you be up on the pitcher's mound taking careful right. aim with that. I'm getting set. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, Regina. Okay. okay. Plus 15 this round. First <laughs> shot. You have two shots on that gun, yes? Yeah. You're using so the Proton M2, I think. Yes, I am. But now I have a question because it's adding 15. So I have to roll over 55, correct? Yes. No, oh, then I'm just under, 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 under. Under 55. <clears throat> so then a plus 15 would make it... Ah, okay. Never mind. What's your hit. usual score and chance to hit? 55. 
So, so it's 70 now. It's the first 70, round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 74. All right, I lost that one. Thank you for the math. And 68. So I make the second shot. And then damage is 3d10. Yeah, it's a heavy pistol. But I think you've only got five shots before we're going to reload. 14. Okay. He does not have a defense against proton weapons. So um, the lead pirate coming through the door is hit for 14. Um, Joel? Okay, I, I, I have a 24. Uh, what, it's half dex, right? So, 20, yeah, 23. Do you and, don't have any skill with thrown weapons? No, so 23 plus 15, uh, sorry, 38, and I roll a 25. Okay, so that hits. Yep. All right, so I will be rolling stamina checks on them. Uh, Harlan? Um, all right. Now, just FYI, from what I remember about this triple barrel, the burst, quote-unquote burst, is a single-target burst. Because all it does is give me a bonus to hit. Okay, so you can't fire at multiple targets. Yeah, I didn't think that. I think it's just one shot out of each barrel. All right, so at mm. this point, you've got a choice of the guy who's got a proton burst in his chest or the unwounded guy next to him. Unwounded. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 22, that's a definite hit. It's like, what, 90, 96 or six, something? Eight, nine, 90, 90, 10. 10. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of ones. Ugh. Three ones out of that. Aye. But everything, exception of one, everything else is eight or above. So there's 20. Okay, they do have skin suits, so this is going to be halved. 30. 43. So 20, 22 points of damage and 14 points of damage. Okay. Um... They pause their advance um, because the two lead guys are shot. Um, so what they do is they kind of duck down on one knee. They go, they kind of drop and go prone, which is going to be minus 10 to hit these guys, uh, I think. Hold on. Target is prone. I remember that from somewhere. Give me a second. All right. Um, so basically, the two guys who were shot, they drop to their, you know, to one knee, um, basically to clear a field of fire for the four guys, the guys behind them, because mm. they weren't able to come in and spread out. But they've kind of ducked down and they start putting on their gas masks. The other two guys behind them, they don't come in because they start pulling on gas masks. So if any of these four guys are affected this round, they won't be next round. They'll have their their defense on, but it you've you've completely blunted their rush. Um, so the wounded guy, uh, they. All right, I know what he has. Um, so Regina, the one you shot. Mm -hmm. 40, 46. He gets, he's coughing and sputtering, but gets the gas mask on before he succumbs. Um, Harlan, same thing with your guy. Even though he's shot um, and he's sputtering and coughing, he gets it on. Uh, all four of them get their gas mask on before the, any of the, the gas takes effect. Um, they have 50 stamina, so you had a... They just rolled really well, um, okay. but again, they are not able to attack. They were all they were all they did was kind of duck down and you know put the gas mask on, which buys you a whole nother round. Um, and now, since two of them are ducked down, you have free fire on all four of them. So we'll just go Sylvie, Larmo, Harlan, and then the pirates. Okay, I'm gonna go to 
uh, above the guy I just injured. So the one that's further back from him. Okay. You remember, you don't have that extra 15 now. Yeah, I know. I missed both. Larmo. Joel, you're muted. Can you hear me? I just lost my, my headset. No, yeah, we can hear you now. You were muted. Okay, yeah, I, my headset's not working. I'm on my, my regular audio now. Okay. Um, uh, so am I going to use my Sonic Disruptor? Oh, that's a good gun. Are we talking, uh, what's our range? What's my range? Short. This You are right on top of them. You're probably five. You're not even. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm aiming at one of them. I don't care which. Okay, hold on. Is I don't know if you can affect multiple targets with a sonic disruptor at short range. Is that like a cone? It's been so long, and that's not a weapon that people usually use. Well, let's roll the hit. Okay, I roll a 27, which that's is a hit. hit. That's going to definitely hit. So... Okay. You know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that you're at point blank range. All right, that's sixty ten. Yeah, because I mean it's they're literally coming through a door. Um, Forty three. It doesn't say anything about affecting multiple targets. Right. So he's just so. Which of the four guys did you want to hit for? The one that's closest. Okay, so that's the guy who came through initially that that Sylvie shot once. Yeah, so it's so 43 him... halved. Is it halved on a the Sonic Disruptor? No, he doesn't have a Sonic Defense. All right, so 43. He's down. You, he gets his gas mask on. He starts grabbing for something on his belt. You blast him with the heavy Sonic rifle, and he just goes down. Um, you see, like, the inside of the, you know, his eyes pop, and he just, like, heads, you know, falls back over dead. Uh, Harlan? Um, I'm going to toss an incendiary grenade right in the middle of them. Oh, boy. I was hoping somebody would do that. Oh, that's, may, may, may I mention that fire in a spacecraft is a horrible idea? Well, the other choice would be fragmentation. <laughs> <laughs> Pro yes or no? Well, it's not my only other choice, but okay. it's up there. But... Uh... <coughs> No, it's going to deviate. Okay, let's roll the bounce table. Let me find that. All right, so you're throwing straight ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, a one, a two, a three, a four, a four are going to be good. It'll bounce behind them, On a just detail. behind them. And since it's an area of effect, it's not going to be. And it's a confined space, it'll still hit them. Two. two. Okay, so it lands slightly behind the guys you were going to uh, throw it at. Um, so the guys that are in the second rank. Right. And the two in the third rank that you haven't seen yet. So pretty much it lands right in the middle of the four guys behind these lead two. Okay. Um, they get a reflex or reaction speed check? To I'm going to say half. I'm going to say no because they're they're stacked up to come through the door, and because of the doze smoke, they don't even see the fire grenade until it goes off. 28. 28 points of damage to everyone. And then it does 1d10 each round for three rounds, I think. Okay, hold on. Damn. That's a good one. Well, I, no. can't, I am here. Just keep going. I'll be right back. Okay. The part is being played by the power armor. <laughs> Okay, so this is they don't have a defense against fire. Um, so those four guys behind these two lead guys take 28 points of damage, um, which is you hear them fucking screaming. Um, the guy, one of the two lead guy ranks is just shot with a sonic disruptor dead. The other guy is not affected by the grenade because you bounced it behind him. 
Um, and he does manage to uh, throw an attack. Um, and his attack is to hurl a fragmentation grenade. What kind of cover are these boxes giving us? Um, these boxes are going to give each of you minus 10 to hit. So uh, I've got to roll under a 35. Um, I'm also going to say you probably didn't bunch up. So he's going to just go for throw a grenade at one of the three of you. Um, so, and uh, the lucky roll is Harlan. Harlan, the grenade lands right beside you. Um, I rolled an 11. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you want to dive out and try and take half damage? But then you'll be out of cover if they start shooting next round. Yes. So you're going to dive away and then, okay, make a dex make a reaction speed check. Uh, no, I missed it. I think, and a frag is eight, I think, right? Two, four, six. I don't have that right in front of me. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep closing this book when I just keep opening it again. Yes. Uh, it's 8d10. Yeah, 8d10. 8d10, okay. And this is, this is something the skin suit will take care of. Right. 20. 35 points of damage. So I take half of that. The reaction speed um, worked or no? No, I'll take half of that and then my suit will take the other half. Okay. So that's what? 17 to the suit, 16 to me? Mm -hmm. Wait, no, that's not it. 35? 30, let's just say uh, 34. So 17 and 17. 17, 17. Keep it easy. Not bad. Thank God you had the suit. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. This is the same suit I've had. I take took three damage to way back when. So it's only had three points off of it. Ever. Okay. I keep getting shot You're going to need a new one after this. I keep getting shot with lasers. Actually, I don't get hit that often. That's Larmo's job. Yes, I am the bullet sponge. <sighs> well, you <laughs> lucked out on the random roll for the grenade. I was sure it was going to be you. <sighs> But law of averages, somebody else has to get shot or blown up or attacked by a wild alien creature. Uh, okay, so you've, through good rolls, you've managed to blunt their attack. Um, but they've regrouped. Um, or should... Well, how many of them are on fire? Okay, so this is what happens. The two guys who are on fire... Um, was it only two? There are four guys on fire. Okay. Two of the guys who are on fire um, run back in and they uh, grab a fire extinguisher and they extinguish, They start trying to extinguish themselves. But they will take incendiary damage. The, all four will take incendiary damage this round, so roll that. But okay. two will put themselves out and end that now, and then they're going to put the other two guys out. They take five more. They take five more. So. 33 total. 33. So two of the. You got two guys wounded for 33. Um, actually, they're all wounded for 33. And then two more will be next round. Uh, the back two 33 are out. And they're coming forward, and they will hose down the other guys. Um, so then we. But, and these two guys who are burning, um, they are going to fire uh, electro stunners. <laughs> um, so they'll fire. I think these have a rate of one. So they're only going to get that one shot. I think. Larmo, you use usually electro stunner a lot. It's one, right? Which one? Electro stunner. Yeah, it's one. Okay. Uh, their beam is 53. You've got cover, so that's 43. Except for Harlan, who doesn't have cover because he dodged a grenade. Um, they fire at Larmo. Okay. <laughs> they fire at Larmo twice. Of course. 
Why would they fire at the Dralocyte just once? They miss the Dralocyte once. Okay. And they miss the Dralocyte twice with two <laughs> rolls in the 70s. I guess being on fire disrupts your aim just a bit. Well, this is going way better than I hoped. Okay, party's round. All uh, right. Set on fire right There's now. There's one guy with 22 who's in your ship. Okay, yeah. I'm going for him. Um, he just threw a grenade, and he's grabbing a second grenade. Yeah, fuck that shit. All right. First one is a five. Out of 55. And then we have oh. a two out of 55. So I think that's the last bit of energy in that gun. I think it's a five shot heavy pistol. It is, yeah. So give me 3d10 on that guy. 3d10, you got it. So that's six, nine. Bring and that's in. for both shots, correct? Um, It's a two shot weapon and the weapon has five shots. You fired one, two, three, four. Third round, you fired five. Your gun's empty. You okay. don't get a second shot. Um, so you'll have to reload or switch weapons. All right, so that guy is hit. Larmo, you've got clear shots of two guys on fire. You don't have a clear shot of two guys who are no longer on fire with a fire with fire extinguisher. And the one guy who's in the shot in the in the ship who is drawing a second grenade. Uh how did, how obscured is the guy with the grenade? How do you mean how obscure? I mean, how I mean, he's in the back, right? He's in the front. The guy in oh, he's, he's the the guy the guys who came in and ducked down have been trying to throw grenades to disrupt you guys so that the rest of their force could invade. Okay. So the guy's going to throw the grenade. I take a shot at him. Okay, go. This is with the sonic disruptor. Yeah. Oh boy, go for it. Keep track of that ammo, because that's an energy hog. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm already on that. Go for it. Uh, nice. 200. Uh, there's no bonus on this one, right? No, no. Okay. Uh, 11. Oh, boy. Give me the, <laughs> give me the damage. You don't have a lot left. Um, you can stop counting when you hit 20. All right, that's not going to be much. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. we had sixty ten. So, um, yeah, twenty eight. He's and down. Twenty eight, thirty one. Yeah, he's down. Now, okay. Did, did he already prime the grenade? Um, he didn't. Okay. Because uh, it, because um, it's a, it's actually was a flash grenade. Okay. So, um, you know, well, he grabbed I mean, it and was going to just did not manage to get it out of the belt. Okay. Because uh, he'd gotten shot with a proton pistol before you just shredded him with the sonic disruptor. Okay. Okay. So the four pirates, uh, the two in the back take no action. They are like one of those guys is putting out the other two. Um, so they won't take damage this round. Um, one of them is is frantically on his calm. Um, you he you know he's like this, and he's kind of ducked down. And he's screaming into um, a mic, uh, you know, on his you know his, into his conochrom. Um, and the two guys there uh, fire twice. Uh, again, they're this time specifically they're firing at Sylvie and Larmo. I think he's getting me. Oh, we did skip you. Shit, go. All right, so I'm getting up, and I am going to bum rush the airlock. You know what the call was? What? Should, should we abort? Oh. <laughs> They're already thinking the same thing. Let's just close this door and go. I'm going to bum rush the airlock. Okay. Um, you... And I'm pulling out my new toy, the Sonic Sword. Okay, you are now toe-to-toe -to -toe with these two wounded guys and the Sonic Sword. Uh, before they could even react. So, I'm not as good with this, but I'm hoping they get a penalty to shoot when I'm in amongst them. 28, that'll hit. 
And you've already established they don't have defenses against sonic weapons. Mm, that's not so hot. Well, but good thing is they are. They've Wait. been on fire for two rounds. Yes. <laughs> There's 15. You only get to make one melee attack, correct? Um, since you're an expert fighter, I will allow you to do sword and punch. Okay. Uh, if you, But you're going to take a penalty of fighting with two weapons, so the punch will have a minus 10 to hit. Even if I had a minus 10 on the sword, it would have hit. 46, that'll still hit with, a, with the penalty on the punch. And he Oops. goes down. He only had two points left. Okay. So you come up, you slash one, punch him. Um, the guy with the electro stunner tries to take two steps back and blasts you. Um, one like, guy's I'm, on. Yeah, what? I'm going to keep trying to move with them so I'm in amongst them <clears throat> right. as best I can. Okay, so. The guy with the electro stunner can't bring it to bear because you're like right up on him. So he kind of drops it at his feet, draws a vibro knife, he'll try and attack next round. Um, the guy who was with the, who had the fire extinguisher blasts it in your face for 36 points of damage. Um, I'm going to have you make a uh, stamina check. The fire extinguisher does 36 points of damage? No, for th I'm sorry. For th He hits with a 30. He basically <laughs> blasts you. I rolled a hit, and you rolled a 36. So if you fail the uh, if you fail this, you're going to be stunned for one round as you're blinded by the fire extinguisher. The goggles don't help? I made it. Okay. Um, the goggles do help. Uh, so you, you're blasted with the fire extinguisher. You try not see it coming. You duck down. You're not going to be affected. Um, I was going to say, I might have to switch to fire extinguisher if it does 36 points of damage. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I meant I rolled a 36. Um, and uh, the um, the last guy who... who um, so now there's only three guys left. Well, wait, hold on. One, two, three. This guy is the Vibro Knife. Fire Extinguisher. This guy was on... Okay, this guy had his uh, was on Conacom. Um, the guy that was furthest back that was uh, on the Conacrom sees you breaking through um, and blast fires at you. Now, the good news is he's panic firing. So if he misses you, he's he. Any if I miss you with this roll, he may hit the other guy. Okay. What are they using? Oh, they still got their electro stunners. Okay, but that means it's all of them. Um, and he hits you. Uh, make a stamina check. Current stamina check. These okay. were all set for stun. They were going to come in and capture everyone or try. Seventeen. Them. Good thing you're a big, healthy boy, and I'm sure that that's not that, that you're fine. Hmm. So you take the electro stun blast. Do you have an anti shock implant? No. Okay. I should have gotten one. You should invest in one, uh, but because then it would have you. I been got immune. one. <laughs> okay, so he blasts you. You're like, oh, I should have gotten an anti shock implant, but you're able to resist it because you're all pumped up on adrenaline, um, and that's their round. Fire extinguisher, drawing a knife, and hitting you with a stunner. So, Sylvie, he's your Harlan's in the ship in the Corvette. Okay, so I can I start moving forward while reloading at the same time. You start trotting forward in a quick reload. You will not be able to fire, but you will be at the door. Okay, Larmo. Uh, there's no one else to shoot. Harlan is in amongst them. He's okay. kind of he's 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 got his sword out, and okay. the guy next to him has a All knife right. out, and there are two guys behind him. But All right. until you clear those two guys, uh -huh. you can't get a clear shot at the other. Okay, so two. I'm gonna rush and then deck one with the shot gloves. If you rush and attack uh, Harlan's, you'll clear the door and be able to get you know more of it in. Like All basically right. in the doorway on their ship is Harlan and this pirate. If you hit the pirate, you know, from the side, uh -huh. like blindside him while he's squaring off with Harlan, that'll clear a field of fire for Sylvie for the other two guys next round. 
All right, let's try that. And if not, Harlan may just kill him this round anyway. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm All right. Track of how many are left? Three. Okay. And then all of them are wounded. All right. I to attack with the shock gloves. I need a forty-three. I got a twenty-seven. You need to roll so, over seventeen. Uh, two d ten plus four. Give me a second. Two d ten plus four. Nineteen. He's down. There are only two left. <clears throat> Harlan, what do you want to do? You're clear. I'm moving in for the guy with the the, the communicator. Okay, go. Take a hack. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, we're on so hot. That is ten. Nineteen. He's down. Um, there's just the guy with the fire extinguisher. He starts, um, he hurls the fire extinguisher at Harlan and starts running towards the elevator. Harlan, it will hit. Okay. Yeah. And does seven points of damage. So three to you, four to the suit. Okay. Yeah, it's, the suit's starting to look a little beat up. All right, so he is fleeing towards the uh, the elevator. Unless anyone gets to him and stops him, he's going to dive in and slam that door closed, trapping you on this level. So, Sylvie. I'm going to shoot him. Go. Uh, miss one. Get the other one. Give me I'll damage. Do 310. Uh, 12, 17. He's down. You have cleared the uh, boarding party. Okay. Um, you now have this level, and I have to change maps. Yeah, uh, you, I don't know the layout of the Corvette, but we need to go. If this elevator goes to the bridge, that's where we're going. And now you know the layout of the Corvette! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that's what I said. And now we need to change maps. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say uh, we came in through here. Uh, middle of the ship, they kind of you know pulled up beside you. So um, you're coming in through here. You see this guy running around. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, oh boy! Right next to the armory. I guess they were. <laughs> I guess they were grabbing their weapons out of the armory and getting ready to rush you guys. So um, the battle that you guys were just fighting was like taking place right here. This guy ran here, died right around here. Um, you hear the intercom going. You know what the fuck's going on down there? Um, and he's like, you know, secure that deck. I'm pulling away. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, run for the elevator. Okay. Uh, Harlan, you, you want get a grenade in... so bad, I can give you one. You, you, <laughs> Harlan, you get to the elevator. Larma, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I guess the same thing. Just, I mean, Sylvie, I what are you look. doing? So they're pulling away, which means I'm now abandoning my ship. Unless, unless unless you run back to your ship yeah. and close the airlock. Temporarily, temporarily. Yeah, I'm going with them. I'll figure it out. I'm going to drag this guy that she shot close to the elevator with us. Because okay. he's the one with the communicator, right? Well, they all had communicators. He was the one actually in the back enough that he wasn't, he didn't have a clear shot, so he was trying to communicate what was going on. So what happens is you get into this elevator, um, you know, you, you feel the ship suddenly start to move. You start to hear cracking and snapping as the um, the tether bridge, like that small boarding, uh, begin to rip and tear. And you see air venting. 
and you start to hear the decompression. So this whole deck is going to decompress, including the cargo deck of the kaleidoscope. Oh deck. fuck! Um, as the the as the Corvetti like rips its tether away from the assault scout. Um, so what do you guys want to do? As you see air venting. Okay, you close the door of the elevator. Bridge, Where do you go? bridge, bridge. <laughs> I'm gonna t talk into this guy's wrist. Uh, whatever they're called, Chronicom. Okay, what do you say? Uh, help. Uh, and just hit the bridge. Okay, you hit the bridge, and he says, he's, and he says he's coming, and you hear the, the on the, the intercom, he's coming up. Grab the med kit, and he goes, tell the Petrosaur to space that ship. We gotta do it fast. <laughs> um, so, uh, you the bridge door opens up. You see two other humans. One guy running forward with a uh, with a med kit. One other guy at the controls, you know, pulling away. The guy oh. with the med kit just you were holding the guy up like I'm holding the guy up in front of me. Okay, he goes. Just what the fuck? Boom. Oh, boom. Okay. Party's round. You have surprise. Okay, I'm going to shoot him. Hmm, it's going to be close. Uh, any bonus to hit? I'll give you plus 10 for stationary because he's just flat-footed. He was running towards you with a med kit. Yeah, with the burst fire, that'll do it. That's plus 20. What is with all the ones? Uh, not... Twenty, thirty-four, uh, thirty-eight. So that's going to be 17, twenty. So that's going to be seventeen because he's got a skin suit. All right, Regina. So there's two of the ones on the deck controlling everything. What was the one? Yeah, person? one's piloting, and the other guy was coming forward with the med kit. And med kit guy is currently being shot at. Yes, and she um, was shot. Was shot. I gotta stop the pilot. Um. So I'm gonna try to gun it towards the pilot to get him to stop. You know, you know, run up and put the gun to his head. Yeah. Okay. Do you have like any kind of intimidation? Any kind of social? <laughs> uh, probably not. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have fever age. Does that count? No. So you run up and <laughs> what? Just put the gun in his head and say what? Stop. That's literally like just just stop. Cause okay. Just... Here's the thing. If you do this, it's all mm. or nothing. He's either going to stop or he's going to shoot you. So you have to, you know, so you got to make a person. Uh, per is it personality? We always get this wrong. That's pers uh, personality we're gonna go leadership. Yeah, we're going to go leadership. Leadership role. Let's see oh, how fuck. impressive you can be as you come up on this guy. Larvo, what do you want to do? Uh, it's just the one guy? No, Not one really? guy shot, and she's trying to capture the pilot. Okay. Uh, All right. I'll try to knock out the pilot. Well, she's got the pilot covered. Uh, okay, so it's just the one guy she, who shot she's like, She's like, got the gun who was announced. Like, like, you know, stop now! And he just slowly raises his hands. Okay, so there's the other guy? Yeah, shot? the other guy who just got shot coming in and he dropped the med kit. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just whack him. Okay, you come <laughs> over with the shot gloves? Yeah. All right, give him, give him one. Uh, 41 out of 43. Okay, give me damage. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Um, he sees the his companion captured, his friend dead. Um, you know, you guys came through six of them, so he's like, "I'm good, I'm good, I'm good," and he he, he just like 
So these two guys just surrender. Are the smartest move you've made all day. How many are left? This is the crew. It took us a crew of ten. Oh, wow. Damn. Where are the people? Um, at this point, Sylvie, you see the fighter uh, that was outside. Give me one second. I have to see. All right. See outside the uh, small fighter that uh, had harassed you. Mm-hmm. Um, he makes a pass at the kaleidoscope as it's drifting through space. Um, with, with the laser pistons on full burst. Has it had time to drift that far? Um, it hasn't drift. It's drifted far. But basically, was standing by. So mm-hmm. as the two in as he got no, the, order, the kaleidoscope. Oh, it hasn't drifted far at all. Okay. I mean, it, once you get control of the ship, it'll be easy to get over to it. But um, they don't want that ship to exist. So this is retaliatory. Uh, the kaleidoscope does have an improved, uh, you know, it's called the kaleidoscope because it has an extra effective reflective hull. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess I can start looking for the weapons console. Um, it hits like three. A laser piston is almost like a, a short um, automatic, like almost like a rotary cannon of laser. Mm. So it makes a pass and puts like seven small laser holes, and they all go ting, 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 ting off the kaleidoscope's extra re- reflective hull. But you know that that's not going to last with multiple passes. No, Harlan. It- Harlan looks around, and you're on the bridge, and you find the emergency controls for the laser pist for the laser battery. Of okay. The- uh, well, I'm going to try to use it if I can get if it will recognize my command. You need. Do you have uh, beam weapons? Yep. Okay, you can fire. With- you have space beam. Yeah. Oh, oh. So you- space, space energy weapons. Oh, you're the right man for the job. All right, you jump on the gun. It okay. needs an access code. Okay. You don't have it. I'll turn and look at the guy who has his hands up. Um, and what do you say? Um, I'm going to shoot something. It can either be that fighter or it can be you. Um, he's Reg- He looks over at Regina with the proton pistol and she just nudges it because she rolled a one. And he says, like, Alpha 7 Alpha. Does that do it? Right. All right, Larma, what are you doing with the guy under you? He's still armed, and he's got a, two grenades on his belt. He's got a laser <laughs> pistol, and uh, you want to tie I, him up? You want to disarm yeah, him? Yeah, I want to incapacitate him in some way. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have got you pull out the zip ties, and you disarm mm-hmm. him. So you spend okay. your round uh, securing that prisoner. Okay. Um, so this uh, the fighter outside is making a second pass. He will fire on the kaleidoscope next round. Harlan, you will get a shot out at him with the laser battery. I know we can aim in regular range combat. Can we aim in space combat? No. All right. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> no, I missed. Okay. He needs a 35. And he I'm rolls a 38. So he, again, hits the ship, but the improved laser battery, the improved reflective hull just keeps the laser blasts. Um, and you hear the radio saying, what the fuck's going on in there? You know, report, what's going on? And, uh, slight weapons malfunction. Do you want to fire again? Yes. Go. Ot four. And he goes, have you lost control of the... Girl, give me one D10. Eh, three. Okay. He's like, have you lost control of it? And you hit the whole side of the ship and you knock off like part of the wing and the stabilizer. Um, and uh, he starts limping away. And it's like, he, he he's like, he like starts veering off, but veering off very slowly. Can I take another pot shot at him before he gets out of there? Yes, you can. Please. Please. Okay. Oh, 11. 
six a D, on the D10 this time. It, he's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a small fighter. He's only got eight points. Um, so what was the first one? Three? Yeah. And this, yeah. All right. So, uh, he, you destroy the Petrosaur fighter. Uh, the, it's a region class personal fighter. Um, so the fighter's been destroyed. The bridge has been captured. The uh, the crew has been dealt with. You have two live prisoners. Um, what do you want to do? I think you only have one pilot. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, who can I call? Weren't we supposed to contact him once we... Yeah, going on. I, I'm going to go to the computer because I'm supposed to get information off the computer. Okay, roll your computer. Are there? Uh, I guess. What or I do you want to? Is... If you have the ship, you might want to let the Zank take care of it. Okay. All right, Regina, you can pilot this ship back to the asteroid base. What about my kaleidoscope? Can we dock or... with the kaleidoscope first? All right. Um, Are there any to... spacesuits on board? Yes, of course. And lucky for Regina, it's a whole human crew. So there are human spacesuits on board. Um, if you want to match trajectory and, and drift and roll and pitch, or Joel could probably do the terminology better, um, you could use the spacesuit to kind of get back onto Kaleidoscope. Um, okay. I don't know... Um, um could and you, then could she program should could she program this ship to should she program a course and then go to the kaleidoscope and do the same course and just tell me to hit the button to engage it and then they'll both be going to the same place is it no is there any i mean this is a pirate ship is there any way to just dock again and just leave it hooked up and fly them both I'll say um, you can redock, and with difficulty, uh, Regina would be able to get the ship back to the asteroid, towing the kaleidoscope, because uh, the uh, the pirate, the Corvetti, uh, which now that you see the now that you're inside and see the nameplate on the crew, the name of the ship is Jabberwocky. Uh, so. So uh, the Jabberwocky's engines are powerful enough to uh, get back to the asteroid belt, towing the kaleidoscope. Mm. Okay. Then. All right. So give me a pirate piloting check. Sure. And can we radio the asteroid? I can't remember. Is it in the same system? Yes. Uh, you didn't get very far. It would um, be. Um, it would be considered space vehicles, correct? Right. Yeah. All right, the, the, uh, okay, so when you're doing that, the pirate pilot starts getting very panicky. He's going to, you screw this up, you're going to destroy both ships. I'm going to lock him up with a tango grenade. Okay, you just <laughs> hit him with a tango grenade. and You guys put him in the corner and you just put him in a tango grenade and, and they're unable to move. You did disarm them, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, so... Okay, so ask. yes, you can get onto the radio and and uh, and report in. So uh, I want to ask him about the uh, the other people that have been taken. He says they're not here. We just deliver them to the base. We're we're the raiders. We're not the uh, we're not the we're not the overseers. Where's the base? He says I can't tell you that they'll kill us. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be dead anyway. Then why should I tell you? What's in it for me? You're not really good if at you, this, are you? There's no incentive for me to tell you anything now. You if, understand? If you don't, you're about you don't to be... say anything, you're dead. If you do say something, they're going to kill you. So, I mean, you better speak. You you understand you're about to be turned over to the zinc. He goes, Death is the least of your worries. He says, "Well, we'll we'll tell you everything, and." Hell, we'll even help you get your ship back to wherever it is you're you're going. Um, you know, we'll throw in with you. Just don't turn us over to the Zank. Then you need to tell us where this this base is. If we tell you where the base is, do you promise to let us go once we help you dock? No harm, no foul. We'll we'll leave 
Liberty System, hell, we'll we'll go. What's what's that planet on the other side of the galaxy? You guys always talk about heading screen fraud. We'll we'll go all the way to screen fraud. Okay, we'll never see us on this side of the frontier again. Do we have a deal? No. Okay. I'll let the zinc talk to him. All right. So they don't tell you anything. They're both really worried about turning turned over to the zinc, and they should be. So. Hey, yeah, maybe you can throw in with them. So when you get to the asteroid base with the uh, Jabberwocky and the, uh, and now that you can see it in the light, the rather damaged kaleidoscope. Oh. Oh. Out of her 15 hull points, she's taken seven points of damage. No. Um, it, it, don't the, worry, Sylvie. It'll, it'll buff out. The, <laughs> The the petrosaur the pet, the uh, the Jabberwocky took five points of damage when the two ships ripped each other apart in this panic move. So it's got some laser burns. It's got the you know the whole airlock area is just smashed. What can I take off of this ship, the Jabberwocky, to pay to fix the kaleidoscope so our Ozark doesn't find out? Okay, so you're back in the you're back in the asteroid base. Kenna Ken comes out. Didn't Kenna all... Ken offer to repair it? Yeah. He so did, Ken, yeah. Kenna Ken's there. He says, "You've got the ship. You've got the computer." Yes. On the ship. And so he puts his people to work. Um, he he comes up and he looks through. And the computer system, and he smiles, and he says, and he points. He goes, "Look here. You see that guy." Which this guy? this, Which this guy? name right here, mm. yeah. He goes, uh, he's one of the guys who works for us that I've got locked up in the brig. Wow. He goes, I knew there was a mole. Um, so uh, let me go take care of that guy. Uh, and these are, he goes, you've got me live prisoners too. Couple. Mm -hmm. He goes, help me take them down uh, to. Uh, the brig, and we'll take it from here. We'll settle up. Uh, all right. But we want to know where these people are. Um, they find out that there's an asteroid mine. Um, these people, they're not pirates. They're slavers. Yeah, which is why I didn't want Figured. to deal with them. Right. So uh, all of the people they've abducted on the way to get, like, you know, jobs in Solar Miner are now mm -hmm. working on an asteroid mine um, between Solar Miner and Liberty. And he says, all we need to do is turn these coordinates over to Starlaw. What was the name of that one guy that wanted to go with Looking us? Looking for his sister. Yeah, she's in, the, she's in the mining colony. She's been captured. She's been made a slave. Uh, we'll, we'll find him and tell... tell him where she is and uh that her and everyone else is going to be retrieved he says that i'm a i'm a detective with the mahem security forces if i give them the information nobody needs to know where it came from and it'll look like we're cooperating with star with uh star law it'll make my people look better i'm fine with that if kinnikin is yeah he says, well, I owe you. I mean, we didn't get your sister where you need to go. Does this make us square? He goes, you know, you make this, it also make us square. Let me, uh, you know, let me win these, you know, brownie points with your government. Uh, and, you know, it's a win-win. I get my sister back and we get the pirates out of the area. Um, so they let this guy use the radio and um, Sylvie says, okay, here's, here's a name. Go back to Liberty. You know, basically you're in the system. He goes, oh, here's a guy that we use for all our repairs. Mm. You tell him like new. Um, I'm going to call him as soon as you leave. Mm. Um, he's he's going to clear his schedule and get this, get this all buffed out. Thank you. <laughs> what about Thank the Corvette? Yes, what about the Corvette? Well, you've given me two prisoners and everything in the radio. Do you want this? Uh, yeah. He says, well, Sylvie, 
Harlan, Larmo. Looks like you guys are the owner of the your guys are the new owners of the Jabberwocky. Can we get that fixed too? Yeah. <laughs> now, now, you're, gonna... now you're asking a lot. Now you're asking a lot. Um I'll have the guy I'll have the guy put a discount on it. You know, I'm we're paying for everything and I will throw in we're gonna pay half damages on the Jabberwocky, and that makes us square. We good? That sounds fair. That sounds fair. Okay. Very fair. The Mahama guy said is a pilot. Hey. And he says, you know, I'll ride with one of you back on and I'll I'll take the Jabberwocky in. Uh I get the feeling the the dark haired girl doesn't want me on her ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh you pilot these two back into uh into you know Mahama space. Uh, you land at this really, well, you don't land, you dock at this very small, rickety, uh, like no, no frills looking, um, space station, almost like, you know, a couple of asteroids strung together with mm. scaffolding and, uh, hollowed out. Um, and when you get in there, it turns to, out to be like a pretty decent shop shop. Nice. Um, with a lot of engineers and, and some pretty decent equipment. And they said, okay, we're ready to start the repairs. And they go, ah, oh, one of ours, right? Yes, it is. He goes, we'll make her look like new because we've been ordered to do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> he goes, and we'll put the repairs in on this. We'll do a full computer wipe. Um, the Zanker going to forge you some ownership papers. Do you want to rename it? I think we should rename it. Probably a good idea. Yeah. We'll have okay. to figure that out. All right. Well, you're going to be here for a couple of days. So, uh, Our, uh, they, Sean, give you, they give you a Firehawk. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an expanse thing. Oh. Okay. So they basically tell you you can stay here. Or they can shuttle you over to the major station that has a little bit more amenities, but you just came from there and you know it's terribly overcrowded. So it's kind of like here. you can stay stay in the cabin and take some time to look out around my new ship. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, you get a call. The, the the engineers come in and say there's like seven messages on the subspace frequency uh, from someone called Osar. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. And he's like, he doesn't you need know, to know. He Sylvie, need to know. you're two days overdue. Call me back. Sylvie, this isn't funny anymore. Sylvie, it's been three days. There better not be a scratch on my ship. Where are you? Sylvie, if you don't answer this call in the next 24 hours, I'm calling Starfleet and reporting this as a theft. Sylvie, are you starting to really freak me out now? Are you dead? Just call me, okay? And then the engineer's like, I think you I think you should call him. <laughs> I'm gonna call him. I have yeah. to. <laughs> okay, and he's like, matter. what the hell's going on? Where are you? You're not in Solar Minor. Don't tell me you're in Solar Minor because I know you're not, you're not, and I've looked. I'm not in Solar Minor. Why would you take the ship out of the star system? To get it fixed. And to get it nice, what did it need to be new. fixed? <laughs> I was trying to do something nice. It's just taking longer than I expected it to. Because I'm glad that you're not dead. If, when you get, w w how long for you to be back here with my ship? Shiny, shiny, and like new. I'll let you know as soon as I can. We'll talk when you get here, but your future as part of this crew is really in question. This is, you, this is a line, and you've crossed it. I'm, I'm very you, sorry. You'll always be but, family, but I don't know if I could have you as crew anymore. I understand completely. Amazing. A new business opportunity has just came up. <laughs> All right. We'll talk when you get back. I'm glad you're okay. Is everyone else okay? Yes, everyone else is 100% okay. We've been hearing reports that the uh, shock boxing champion of the Helios Cup has been missing for almost two weeks. Oh, he's is doing it that fine. Long? No, it's been like a week. 
He's uh he's been uh exercising, working out from what I've been told. He's with you? He is. All right, I'm gonna float a rumor to the press that he's uh on vacation. Thank you, I appreciate that. And um, then uh the navigator who's kind of like, you know, there his pal says Oh, and we could tell him he's with the granddaughter of the woman he stole the title from. The tabloids are gonna love that. No. <laughs> and basically, just as as a <sighs> as an underhanded revenge, they float the story that you two eloped. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> that oh, you fuck. that you flew off to screen from. <laughs> oh my god. Um, He's gonna kill me. So it's all over the it's all over the news that uh, you know. Can I bring something stories. back for Ozark as kind of like an apology, other than it being shiny and like new? Um, how much do you want to spend? Uh, for the relationship that I have with him, a pretty penny. Okay, if you are willing to spend uh, ten thousand credits. See if I have that. Sure, you do. I probably do. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm just saying, if you don't, you do. <laughs> okay, ten thousand credits. Yes. Well, um, I think I paid you ten thousand credits for the for the ship that one time. Okay, so for the ten thousand credits, they're going to upgrade Kaleidoscope's engines. Mm. Um, and they're going to put in a new feature. Okay. Uh, that will allow her to land in water. Okay, perfect. Um, you know, basically allow her to do emergency water landings. Um, so that will uh, be a significant upgrade to the ship. All right, so Fantastic. we're going to say you get back to Solar Miner. Uh, the news reports are all about a band of slavers mining an illegal asteroid with a bunch of... Uh, uh, refugees who'd been taken advantage of and taken off of various ships in the Liberty system on the outskirts of Solar Minor that they've just broken them up. Um, you see the Mahama guy that you were getting into it with on the news with a team of Starlaw people. <laughs> and they were like, uh, you know, possible inv involvement with the Sathar. Uh, in efforts to spy and reclaim their old shipyards from the Liberty system. Um, yada, yada, yada. Lots of rumors flying around. And then, you know, the tabloids come on and it's a story about Harlan. And they're, they're getting a comment from your trainer's daughter and she's like, no comment. Like, we, <laughs> thought, you, we thought you guys were an item. Have you broken up? I have no idea what you're talking about. No comment. I, I, he and Sylvia are just friends. You know, they're just friends. <laughs> Um, and are you saying that you're more than friends? And like, I said no comment! And she's just like, you know, it's in her new restaurant, which is now <laughs> even more packed because n even bad news is good news for advertising. That's good. Didn't she have like a vegan restaurant or something? Yeah, she had that? a high-end vegan restaurant. All right. So, uh, let me, uh, let me, how am I going to tie this up for Larmo? Uh, Larmo. Yeah. Uh, you get a invitation. Okay. Uh, from the Dralocytes from Grub Across the Stars. Grub Across the Universe. Okay. And they said, listen, we're planning a big security event. A big, uh, a big fundraising event. Um, we could use a head of security. It's going to be a pop-up. We're real short-handed. We're going to be doing a, a comedy show banquet to raise money. We've got a line on a new ag ship, and we need to raise 250 million credits pretty quickly. So we're doing like a 24-hour telethon with comics and uh, high-end banquet stuff. But um, we'd like to offer you the position of uh, head of security for that event. Oh, you know, uh... The only bad part about that is we won't be able to eat the food and pay attention to the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd rather do the pre-setup and help us screen people, um, we can get you, we can give you uh, like a week's worth of work pre-event and then a front row ticket for you and your friends. 
that's that that I can that, that I can live with. Okay. And they said, you know, if you ever wanted to take a vow for five years and come work with us, we think you'd make a great pilgrim. Thank you for the offer, but I think I'm going to be preoccupied with other things right now. Gotcha. We'll see you. But yeah, they basically we'll see you back on Cersei. Sounds good. All right. So that is uh, the rather surprising ending of. <laughs> What did I call this one again? Sheesh. Trojan Shark. The tr Operation Trojan Shark, which actually worked. Uh, I was sure you were all getting captured by space pirates, and that Aaron and Sean and uh, Sean L were going to have to rescue you from the slave pits <laughs> um, next session. But um, I, I have to say, the sonic, the sonic disruptor and the grenades really leveled the playing field there, and some clutch rolls. So. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I, I am impressed. Uh, All right. Well, so they weren't expecting it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got complacent. And it's funny you found the gap. Sonic. The sonic knife, the sonic dis they didn't have defenses against sonic weaponry. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was, you know, just lucky weapon selection. Go oh, and, and, an, and, an, and a good roll and and basically missing on the incendiary grenade was the best thing that could have happened. <laughs> Because it bounced, it bounced long, and there were four guys behind the two you were aiming at. So <laughs> that was a very lucky miss. Close counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And hand grenades. Yeah. And, hand grenades. <laughs> um, and the, even the dose grenade bought you around. Yeah. yeah. Because they all had to stop and put their gas masks on, and then you just shot them again. I think I said before the game, Blitz. The name of the yeah. game was Blitz. <laughs> keep, mm. keep moving, keep shooting. All right, well, well done. Uh, so... Here is your new ship. You're going to need, if you're going to rename it, you're going to need to come up with a name for it. We'll have to. Don't have to do that now. We'll talk about it in emails. Yeah. We need, and how many crew does it need? We'll figure that out as well. We can always, uh, we can always hire some NPCs. Red shirts. Red shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else will wear the red shirt for a change, Laro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for you know getting together on short notice and on the eve of a holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. um, not sure when this will be dropping, but this could be our one year anniversary episode. December seventh is officially one year of Citizens <laughs> of the Frontier as a YouTube channel. So, uh, thank you guys. Uh, we, uh, I've got a couple of other adventures planned. We'll see what happens. We'll see what everybody's availability is. We may not play again this year. We'll see. Uh, December schedules are crazy. People are busy. Yeah. Um, so everybody out there, thanks for joining us. I will do the, the bumper in the show notes and all of that. Um, this adventure will be up on our Patreon. So if you want to support that and see, what they managed to survive, you can. Um, and until next time, everybody, stay safe. Happy holidays. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a good holiday season, everyone. Bye. <laughs>